There's no single actor in, in driving climate change. There's no single industry. It requires an incredibly large collective effort from mankind, covering the full spectrum of producers to consumers. The company is the largest, arguably leading, oil and gas exploration and production company in Oman. Any economic engine from a revenue, technology, innovation, but also job creation point of view. Our vision is be, to be renowned and respected for the excellence of our people and the value we create for all our stakeholders. Within the context of, of climate change, it's really about becoming more energy responsible, driving energy conservation, driving the shift to renewables. I think the shift to renewables is, is a challenge for the entire world. Um, in Oman has, is, is, has the opportunity to take that challenge into a real opportunity to, to drive economic development because it is blessed by having some of the highest year-round solar radiation intensity across the country. So the journey towards sustainable development for PDO did, is not starting now, it started long back. If you look at what we had developed, the Nima Wetland Project as an example, the NWTP we call it, uh, where we have actually green 10 half kilometer square of the desert. You go out there and you see lush greenery. And that's not just for the sake of doing that project, because what it has done, it has stopped disposing water deeply, which was consuming so much energy. We are basically disposing the same water with only usage of 1% of energy. Oman has a target of 2% emission reduction. The contribution of this project is over 4%. And we are actually expanding that project to do more. This is just, that's just not the only project. We have recently awarded a 100 megawatt solar power plant project. And that is the world first utility scale solar IPP project where an oil and gas company is the wholesale buyer of electricity. That project will generate 100 megawatts of power. If you look at the Mira project that we initiated some time ago and has really expanded, that's a beautiful example of renewable energy integrated with meeting the objectives of oil and gas where we generate steam for injection. If we had not actually done that Mira project, we would actually burn gas and that would have been equivalent to like 300,000 tons of carbon dioxide emission per annum. We in PDO, first and foremost, uh, do recognize uh, the importance of active stakeholder engagement. For example, internally in 2017, PDO launched Tidama campaign. Tidama means sustainability. And the objective of that campaign actually is to centralize all our energy management and green activities into one place from a communications perspective. I think as PTO open to these global practices to learn and to share knowledge, you know, what we do here as well versus, you know, what is done elsewhere and how can we collaborate, work together, you know, to solve these uh, challenges and overcome them. At the end of the day, the planet is for all and we should be all responsible for it, no matter where is your location, what is your, you know, gender or race or religion, you know, it is one planet and we all live in it, so we're all responsible for it. The landscape of renewable energy has grown quite a lot and our responsibility towards people, planet and climate is core to our strategic development of, of the country. We have to make sure that we get the right energy mix that protects all the people, planet and the climate at the same time, not compromising or jeopardizing the objectives of what we are here for, for exploration and production. The way you can make, you, the way you can make a change, bring a transition, is by actually doing it and not only talking about it. And that's what we have been able to do. The projects that we have actually been implementing 
a mirror, the solar rooftops, the solar car parks. We are showing to the community that we are running a renewable business that is helping the climate, the, the community, the country, and working in favor of PDO in meeting its objectives. Once the community actually sees that we are doing and making a change, the entire paradigm will start to shift. تمثل البيئة طبعا جانب مهم في كثير من الدول أو في العالم بشكل أوسع البيئة مهمة لحياة الناس ولجودة حياة الناس وفي عمان منذ أن تولى جلالة السلطان قابوس مقاليد الحكم في البلاد في عام 1970 كان اهتمام اهتمام شخصي بالبيئة لأهميتها ولكونها أيضا تمثل اهميه عالميه ورساله كبيره للدول في فيما يخص الاهتمام بالبيئه عمان وجود عمان على شواطئ طويله ايضا هذا احد الاسباب التي يعني تؤثر على 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 عمان من حيث التغيرات المناخيه وقد وضعت السلطنة استراتيجية للحد من هذه التأثيرات وأيضا استراتيجية أخرى للتكيف مع هذه التغيرات هذه التغيرات هذه التغيرات هي معنية الآن بما يسمى بالاقتصاد الأخضر هنالك تكنولوجيا حديثة يتحدث عنها تتحدث عنها الكثير من الشركات فهنالك أيضا فرصة في توسع في استخدام هذه التكنولوجيا وبذلك يكون عائد ايضا للشركات المصنعه هنالك ايضا فرص عمل من جراء العمل على هذه الاستراتيجيات هنالك فرص كبيره ايضا فيما فيما يخص ايضا الطاقه المتجدده Safety, including welfare, is a social and moral obligation. It's about duty of care and doing the due diligence towards our staff and our stakeholders. We have an audit inspection program at different levels, starting from the site, covering the middle management and the top management. And the outcome of this program is shared with the top management to make sure the safety performance is maintained all the time. Uh, the top review done by the management is very important and the objective here is to identify opportunities for improvement and drive and support operation, operationalizing them. Success is not measured by how many barrels of oil we deliver, uh, but by ensuring that our employees and our contractors, they return home to their families safely every day. It's, it's pretty exciting. It's, it's a challenging world. Uh, climate change realities are really daunting and they, you know, they require a call to arms. Uh, but our aim is to, stay, is to stay true to our vision and true to our strategic objectives to become and continue to drive safety, efficiency, reliability, responsibility in our operations. Action is key and there are no easy solutions, but the opportunity, opportunity sets are real. The examples of its practice, of projects that have been very successful, are out there. We have some of them. And it starts with mapping out and understanding the opportunity in gas conservation, the low-hanging fruit, by simply driving a change in behaviors. And if what we are doing is actually duplicated by the industry, the benefits to the country will be much larger. And the simple truth is that we need to act now to ensure we have choices later.